Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. I'm not sure what I want to play this time. I might go back to Biff. I don't remember much about Biff. Um, let's, uh... Hmm. Well, let's pick a name and we'll go from there. Let's see. This one will be named... Uh, hmm... Nobblesaxe. Nobblesaxe. Yeah, I like that. Nobblesaxe. What is Nobblesaxe? Nobblesaxe sounds kind of like... Hmm. Kind of like maybe a, a kobold name? Nobblesaxe. Yeah. I like the idea of a kobold. What what are kobolds good at these days? I haven't played a kobold since uh, .08 or something. Let's see, we've got evocations, stealth, dodging. They're kind of frail. Oh, they level fast. That's nice. What else? Um, short blades, throwing slings, crossbows. Kobolds seem pretty bad. Hmm. Well, Nobblesax is a kobold, so I think I think I'm going to try something that used to work reasonably well. Kobold berserker. We will be a kobold berserker. Ah, right. Set our skills to manual. Uh, fighting, armor, dodging. And just start slaying things. Uh, the the idea behind the Cobalt Berserker is to get a scimitar. I think it's a scimitar. The, uh, the highest damage, the highest base damage of the short blades, and then just attack super fast. Ah, berserking! Ah. Oh, right, we can eat, uh... We can tolerate... meat all the time. We are carnivorous and can eat meat at any time. I guess we can't eat bread rations, which is somewhat problematic, but we recuperate from illness quickly and we can't use very large weapons. Okay, that's fine. Ah. Yeah, Berserkers are fun. Berserkers are a nice change from some of the more difficult things that I've been trying out lately. But they're fun. I like them. Uh, hmm. Eventually, we might want to put some points into intelligence. But for now, we're going to go with dexterity. Uh, the reason why we would eventually put points into intelligence is just to protect us from stat drain. Five is pretty low. Cool, we are engorged. Yeah, so we, we don't even pick up bread rations. Oh, giant newt. Man, that was a tough giant newt. Crazy. So berserkers start by worshipping Trog, the berserker god. We will never cast any spells as long as we worship Trog. And in fact, we gain piety for burning spellbooks. So we are incentivized to just stick to stabbing things. Arr. I think I, I recorded and I, I believe I uploaded a plus two ring of intelligence. Well, that protects us from stat drain for now. Um... I recorded a, a video with a Minotaur Berserker that, that went reasonably well. It was fairly fun. But I uh, I failed to turn on my microphone, and so there's no audio for it. So it's, it's not the most entertaining thing in the world. But this time, the Berserker. Uh, let's Berserk for this worm. Cool. Uh, Trog's Hand is really nice. That's the ability, the god ability that we just got. Um, it 
causes us to regenerate rapidly and also gives us magic resistance, I believe. Uh, this is also why Deep Dwarf Berserkers are cool, because this will heal even Deep Dwarfs. Yeah, powerful protection from hostile enchantments. Note, hostile enchantments doesn't include things like Fireball. It's only like Confusion, Hexes. Confusion and other Hexes. Check these stairs. Oh, there's Cobalt up there. Hi! Commit Fratricide. And we're off. Up goblins. There's there's very little reason not to berserk as um, a cobalt berserker uh, in these early levels. Later on, you have to be much more judicious with your berserking because it can run out at a poor time and leave you stranded and slow in the middle of a bunch of monsters. Yeah, there we go. Um, but for now, we just get to be a berserker. Uh, kobolds, also their, their carnivorous nature and being able to eat up to engorged all time. Like, basically a free amulet of the gourmand built in. Uh, you... Um, oh, yay, we got stronger. Uh, we can berserk a whole bunch, and the food cost is more or less irrelevant. Rawr! Because it does consume quite a bit of food. It's got a pretty high hunger cost. Um, larger weapons, but I guess we can use body armor as normal. That's cool. <laughs> ah, the Shining One. It's been a long time since I've worshipped the Shining One, partly because I've been having a lot of fun with Demon Spawn and Demon Spawn are not accepted by the Shining One into his friend circle. I don't know. Yeah, we can wear any kind of armor we want, looks like. We also are very loud while we're berserking. I believe. I believe it does. We do, like, shout really loudly. Like, rah, berserker. Which I think is appropriate. Uh, yeah, okay. We're gonna keep an eye out for any short blades that are better than a short sword. Not a ton of them. But there are a few. Specifically, uh, gee, what... What is... What are the short blades? Oh, I guess the Cutlass is the one that's slightly more damaging. I guess it's only damage of 7 instead of 6. But it has a very low minimum delay. We could also get a Quick Blade, which would be pretty neat. Just attack all the times. We won't be using very heavy armor, if we can help it. One thing we can do, though, is, is train up our stealth and, like, get the drop on things, and then go berserk and rah, alert everything to our presence. Hmm. Good that priest didn't notice us. Rawr! Okay, that was close, but we are berserker, we are strong. I am being a little careless. This is this is the point of the game where things actually can start hurting us. We can't just berserk and run into every situation and be guaranteed a win. Be very careful if you're using evocable flight <laughs> when an eye is around. If you're flying over deep water and the eye paralyzes you, it's very bad. Yeah, very bad. What's this ring? A cursed ring of teleportation. Fortunately, we have that handy scroll of remove curse that we just read ID'd. 
Uh, more strength. Although I guess we actually benefit more from dexterity. I uh, yeah, I did put it into dexterity at first. I don't. I shouldn't have put it into strength there. Oh well. I don't expect this character to survive too terribly long. I just wanted a nice, fun little run to just sort of dash around the dungeon and see what we find. As you can tell by how fast I'm pressing keys and things. We are allowed to use scrolls and potions and things, just not... Um, not spellbook spells. That wizard stuff. Sometimes I imagine Trog as Strom Thurmond. Makes me... Makes me very chuckly. Ooh, a twisted short sword. We like that. We like that very much, probably. What does it do? Ooh! Wow! 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 This just went from a goofy throwaway run to a potentially awesome run. The short sword of abuse. <laughs> Venom, dexterity, and intelligence. Huh. I mean, not that we really care about intelligence, but that's awesome. That's very good. Well. Seems like we should be able to make it through the lair with no problem now. Venom is pretty darn good when it comes to killing animals. Trog eventually gifts you weapons in a similar manner to Okawaru, though I do not believe that he gifts you armor. So that's, you know, something to be aware of. You can't rely on him to equip you defensively. Which makes sense. He's the god of berserkers. Why would he want you to hide behind a shield, you pansy? Arr. I am Cobalt Berserker. Now we just need poison resistance. Oh, an ossuary is on this level. Okay, well. Zin. Hi, Zin. Another one of the good gods. Ooh. Hard to break line of sight there. That was a little risky. <laughs> Blat, just one hit. Before I even had the chance to berserk. Grab this wand. Maybe it's back here. This looks voltish. Oh no, a long way away. Oh, those are just other gods. If you sort of divide the map up into quadrants, and if something says it's a long way away in one of them, you kind of travel the different quadrants until you find out where it is. I hope we find it. I think that would be a relatively easy... Gar. Good. Still a long way away. Hmm. Still a long way away. This is. We may not be able to find this ossuary in time. That would be too bad. Must be down around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Cool. You can tell with this uh, yellow sandstone. We're going to kill off these guys that are kind of hanging out outside here and heal up a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Usually there aren't monsters in this starting room of the ossuary, but sometimes that's not the case. So the ossuary contains various undead, 
weak undead creatures. The strongest thing you'll really find in an ossuary is a mummy. Or mummies. Though you can get several at once and it can be a little bit annoying. This looks like it may be one of the weaker ossuaries. Everything's s sort of cordoned off by these doors, which is nice. Makes it pretty easy on us. Uh, another bonus is that occasionally we can just randomly stab things that we happen to sneak up on. It's quite nice. Okay, so we didn't get a ton of stuff. Scroll of Remove Curse, what looks to be a scroll of Identify, and this bubbling black potion. I guess we'll find out what it is. Lignification. That's... Mm. We'll hang on to it just in case. Oh my. Guardian mummy and a flying skull. Yeah, these things would just murder us. If we had a wad of if we had a wand of digging, oh, unnaturally hard rock wall. Yeah, if if something is a translucent rock wall and it's not unnaturally hard, you can dig through it. Okay, so good. There's there's more to this ossuary than I thought. Oh dear. Uh Hey, we did it. Cool. Let's shut the door and rest up in here. Regular mummy, okay. Cursed our short sword, that's fine. Man, it's really scary seeing those flying skulls. Up, oh, berserk again. Take no chances with mummies. You slam the door shut with a bang. I forgot that, uh... <laughs> when you're berserk, you don't open and close doors normally. You, you slam them open and shut. That's really funny. Okay. Um... So, I actually have committed somewhat of a... Yeah, slam the door shut with a bang. I love doing that. Uh, I've committed a little bit of a blunder. I've left short blades on by itself forever, so our short blades is fine. We're already past minimum delay. Or, we, you know, we've, we've achieved minimum delay with every short blade. So let's turn on dodging and fighting. And evocations. That seems good. Uh, Trog is is very interesting. He is unique among the gods in that his uh, his god abilities, his invoked of Odir, so he could fight a flying skull if we so chose. Let's try it. We may just die, but... Oh, Wand of Disintegration won't work on... What about stone walls? No? Okay. Well, never mind. Can't, ah, uh, we can't use a potion of porridge. That's too bad. Potions of porridge are pretty neat. Wand of draining. All right. Cool. Yeah, a, a lot of the things you find inside an ossuary is sort of related to cursing things. All right. Well, that was successful. Ah, there's a knoll. Hi, knoll. The reason why we're leaving short blades on even after reaching minimum delay is because, first, why not? Second, it adds to our damage and accuracy and all that good stuff, even if it's not adding to our attack speed. And we need all the damage we can get since we're using a very low damage type of weapon. I mean, even at plus seven, we're doing less damage than the base damage of, like, a Morning Star or an Evening Star. That's the downside of an ossuary is that there's not much food inside. Anything that was buried with the pharaoh has long since rotted away. What is this? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. Ring of Sustainability. So that's fine. Let's identify some of these potions. Curing. Resistance. Invisibility. Flight. That was good. We got a three for one there with one of our scrolls. This is probably heal wounds. We will never need a potion of magic. Well, we'll hang on to it in case we find an amulet of guardian spirit. But we probably won't ever need a potion of magic. Let's, a potion of brilliance. We definitely won't need those. Yeah, heal ones. Okay. Yeah, we don't care about brilliance. We're not casting any spells, ever. Forget spells, man. Spells are... Spells are for jerks. 
reason why I went berserk there, even though I risked it running out by the time I got there, was to get the extra speed boost uh, while I was approaching him, so I didn't eat as many arrows. Since we don't have any kind of resistance to being shot with arrows. Oh, I forgot that uh, we can make blood sacrifices, too. We should be doing that, instead of just chopping everything up. I, I haven't been playing a lot of blood sacrifice gods lately, so I... Uh, I guess I've played Okawaru a few times, but those weren't very successful runs, I guess. Not very memorable. Also, we might as well, I mean, it's it's not like we're worried about piety. So we really should eat up until we're extremely full. Like, very full or engorged, either way. Yeah, well, that was much easier than I thought. This short sword is doing us right. It's putting some hurt on. Ooh, a buckler. We really want that. Buckler! And let's turn on shields. Turn off evocations because we don't really have anything good there yet. I just want to get up to five shields. Uh, oh, Mr. Higginbottom. Mr. Higginbottom. Okay, yeah. That was the last character I played, I think. Demon Spawn Gladiator. He has an axe and a shield. Well, I think we can take him on with our Berserking. Yeah! Ah, oh, that was great. That was a bunch of experience, too. Berserkers can fight things... At least one-on-one, -on -one, Berserkers can fight things that are a lot stronger than they are. Uh, like, level-wise. I mean, obviously not stronger than the total strength of the Berserker, including the Berserking. That's, that's silly math. Well, let's, um, let's take off the Ring of Intelligence, leave on the Ring of Sustainabilities. Uh, I think I want to wait. Oh, we do have some unidentified potions, so we can... Protection from fire, that's good. I like having that. Potion mutation we can eh, hang on to for now. Nah, we'll get rid of it. If we want to play Mutation Roulette someday, we can always track them down. Potions of Mutation are not so uncommon as to make that prohibitive. There's just too much confusion. I can't get no relief. Uh, when you kill things during a Berserk, you have a chance to extend the duration of the Berserk. Uh, and the nice thing about Trog Berserking is that it's even it's even more likely, it's much more likely than with other forms of Berserking for other backgrounds. Oh, wait, we should be sacrificing that Cobalt Corpse. Blah. There we go. The nice thing about Trog is that unlike Okawaru, who's very picky with his sacrifices, Trog doesn't care. <laughs> as long as it's a dead thing that used to be alive, he's cool with you killing it and sacrificing it. You, It's very, very easy to gain piety with Trog. Especially since I don't believe... Yeah, the only, like Berserking doesn't cost any piety. Trog's hand does a little bit. It's not too much, if I recall. Yep. Uh, psh, 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 psh. Yeah, small piety cost. Uh, so that's not bad. The, the the next, I think I think you only get three abilities. The the final ability we get is um, it's called Brothers in Arms, and it summons like ogres or trolls or some such to fight alongside you. And ugh, ah, rar. There we go. Um, that costs a hefty chunk of piety. If you if you use Brothers in Arms too frequently, you will. We can do this. We can just bash all their faces in. Ah, we are Berserker. Yeah. You can also butcher things while you're Berserk, although you can do almost nothing else. Like, butcher, eat, attack. Like, you can rage as much as you want. Yeah, we didn't need a Berserk for... 
it, uh, every once in a while I'll fight one of these enemies without berserking just to see sort of where we stand uh, power wise cool bunch of cheeses I'm glad we can eat cheeses I'm glad that counts for our carnivorous nature I guess it is a you know fat and sugars kind of thing instead of a plant also, I think that carnivorous beings can kind of eat uh, herbiferous material, we'll say. Uh, it's just very difficult for them to digest, and so it if, you, if they eat too much of it, it's very bad. Otherwise, it's just sort of like dietary fiber. It just kind of passes through, I think. I could be wrong. It might just straight up kill some things. I am no biologist. Oh, uh, we don't have anything to throw, do we? We can, uh, blat, do that. I hate these spores. They've always been annoying. But recently they patched it so they also don't give you experience anymore. And that's just lousy. Completely unworth your time. Unless you still have to explore some of the level, and so you absolutely have to. Bees? OMG bees. Um, more bees. Oh, yeah, if you have to, you know, explore the rest of the level, and so you need to get rid of it, so you don't. Okay, let's go ahead and identify this amulet. I don't want to just throw on an amulet of faith. Sure. We'll pop that on. It's not great, but... Boom! I'll show you spellbook. I'll teach you to contain knowledge and wisdom. Ah, berserker! Oh, cool. We got a gift. Neat. A glowing cutlass. Oh, we uh, should uncurse our thing. Plus zero, plus two cutlass of freezing. That seems not nearly as good as what we're using right now. Bleh. Give me some artifacts, Trog. Also, freezing and flaming aren't as good on short blades as they are on big hefty weapons since they're based off of the base damage of the weapon. Uh, electrocution is something that we would really want. Electrocution would be great. Or even just speed. Like a cutlass of speed would be pretty cool. Oh dear. Um, let's throw on regeneration just in case. There we go. I figured we'd be fine. Actually, I was really terrified there for a second. I thought we got in over our heads, but... Nope, turned out well. Let's go back here before too much time passes and sacrifice some of these corpses. Foom. 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 We should think about getting some kind of ranged attack, because we don't have one yet. Oh, piffle. Let's go ahead and drink a potion of curing. I guess eventually we can use evocations. That seems like a good idea. Tengu Conjurer. Oh, dear. Whoa. That did a lot of damage. Over 31 damage in one hit. Well... <laughs> Thus ends Nobblezax. I mean, I was playing recklessly. I should have been at full health there instead of half health, but still. I'm curious how much damage it actually dealt to us. Uh, 34 damage on level 8 of the dungeon. That's pretty gross. Alright, well, thanks for watching, dear viewers. Uh, Nobblezax didn't get too terribly far, but it was fun. Got to run around and stab things a bunch, so I am satisfied. Thanks for watching.